Hello everyone, just wanted to show something to you guys. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but check it out. Hold on. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. You know him. Famous football, professional football player. He basically dresses up as a homeless guy. And he begins to play football in Madrid in the public. Going to re FF this a little bit. The quality may be a bit low here, though to the small memory of this netbook, but you can look for the video yourself. Now, let me go a bit forward. I'll explain to you where I'm, I'm going with this, so be patient. You see the reactions of the people? Now, let me go a little bit further. Here comes the best part. Let me put full screen, maybe that will be better. Come. Full screen, come on. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's take pictures. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for that infeminate voice I've made, but it's needed to make the point I make here. Let me close face. Let me close the internet now. First, they saw some guy. Um playing football in the, in the public sphere and he was dressed as a homeless man so you would suggest he may be a homeless man or a junkie you're not sure but he, he has some football skills and he was contacting people and people were rejecting him if one girl he approached a phone number and the girl reject declined it this young boy decided to you know just just treat him as a common human as a human being as himself and what happened when he took off the makeup and the fake hair and the fake beard and the fake mustache, Apple realized, hold on a minute, that's Cristiano Ronaldo, though, the famous football player. Wow, he's rich. Now, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. It's the same human being that was dressed up as a homeless guy. And he... And this was a social experiment, and this one was done with someone that's famous. There are more of such social experiments being done on camera with hidden cameras that reveal the that reveal how evil a lot of people really are. This is not about everyone, okay? Some people just didn't pay attention because they had their they had their shadow, they had they had a break of their job and needed to move on, okay? So this is not about absolutely everyone. However, it reveals the evil, the evil of most people. They only value you when they can benefit or get something from you. Or when they can use you as a scapegoat to dump all their problems upon. So they don't value you, your humanity. They only value you, you as a personality. Yet, those same people, they demand honor and respect from everyone. Especially from their victims they abuse. Especially from the victims, they don't want to hear any cries of their victimhood or of, of the pain they're, uh, they're causing their victims. They want the victims to give them special honors if they are gods. You see? And if you look carefully, Cristiano Ronaldo, after he gave the boy the autograph on the ball, and the hug, he just left. With security guards, he just left. He didn't pay any attention to those other people. And listen, I don't know Cristiano Ronaldo. Personally, I don't. However, I admire this action of his. 
those other people, they've shown how evil they are. So now that they are pretending to be good people, away with them. Away with them. You see? Now, why am I showing you guys this? Not, not because you've been subjected to the same treatment or before you became born again, you were just like them. Because listen, when Jesus Christ returns, what do you think will happen? Even those that crucified him and abused him will also see him. All those atheists throughout the centuries that mocked at Christians will see him. All those pagans that verbally um, abused and harassed Christians will face him. All the child molesters that raped and abused children will, will see him. Everyone will see him. He'll resurrect everyone. What do you think, think now? Of course, when they see the Most High in all his power and glory as the Supreme Being, as the, the only divine entity, as of course when they meet him in all his power and glory, they will acknowledge him, they will be respectful, they will be kind. But only because they see that going against him now will have unpleasant consequences for them. They have no space where they can express their iniquity. That's why now they're very respectful, so-called. You see? But now, listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Do you think the Most High will fall for this? Of course not. You see? Why? Because... Jesus will resurrect everyone from the dead, both those that are saved as those that are lost. So, those wicked people will have to deal with those with God's people. And, and listen, the Most High in all His power and glory is not going to play games with them. You see? And what will happen is, they will begin to rage and go nuts in the presence of the Most High. When they realize that the Mosai is not playing their game with them, and the Mosai is not um, excusing that they have remained wicked, man, billions and billions of people are going to rage, shout, um, they're going to attack, man, it's going to be a, be a hell over there. This is what the Mosai basically has done. In their earthly life, the Mosai sent rain and sunshine for everyone, also for the people whom we saw would never repent. And the Lord showed extreme kindness to them, but with what motive? To reveal their wickedness. And the more kindness that they received, the more unthankful they became. Is it because God did not want to save them? Well, the cross showed clearly he wants to save them. The, the great kindness that God is showing them besides the cross is to reveal that they don't want salvation, that they, that, that they prefer darkness. So, the Lord will reprobate them. That's how the Lord reprobates them. And remember, it's them. They are the ones that are hostile. They're the ones that are refusing. So, if God chooses to give them more kindness, knowing that the more kindness they receive, the more harder they become, then you can say God is hardening them, but God is only revealing who they really are. And God is only making it impossible for them to have any excuses. That's what God is doing. So it's still them refusing the gospel. Some people will say, yeah, it's predestination. Look, God is not some psychopath with some um, sadistic urges that he needs some people to suffer so that he can feel good about himself. That's not God. That's not the biblical Jesus at all. Those that are, are damned are damned by their own persistence in negativity. That's why they are damned. And the Most High showing extreme kindness onto them in this life is only to reveal their own reprobation. Yes, it's God hardening them. However, they are accountable for being hardened because they're the ones choosing to remain hostile. Okay? Now, that, that's what I want to show with this video, okay? And list, you will encounter more such circumstances out there. But the full revelation of this for mankind will come when Jesus returns. Then, there, all the wicked ones of all the centuries, all those billions and billions and billions of unrepented wicked people, their true colors will be shown. 
openly and the righteous people ask the word that they became born again, we are going to be horrified that we shared the earth with those kind of creatures. See, now in this lifetime, there are many restraints. Social restraints, physical restraints, uh, because listen, these, these bodies are mortal, and because these bodies are mortal and things can happen to you, that's why the wicked who know that they have no objective divine protection, that's why they behave themselves. So you have a lot of social, economic, and physical restrictions now, so people kind of behave themselves. At the resurrection, all those restraints will not be there anymore, and the real them will be visible. And listen, they became worse and worse the longer they've lived. So all of that negativity is going to explode in the presence of the Lamb when He returns. And that's why, listen, many people think when Jesus returns, He will be so filled with anger, is He going to put fire on people because He needs to be, He needs to cool off His anger. Many people think that crap. That's not true. When Jesus returns, He will be filled with joy and gladness to receive His bride, those that became saved throughout the centuries. And He has love also for the reprobate. He does. But the reprobate choose to be hostile towards his love. And because the reprobate choose to be hostile towards his love, they will experience his love as a hell, his love as a nightmare. Is God's love a nightmare? No. But they experience it, it as if it is a nightmare. Does this mean that God is going to withheld his love from them? No, it's going to show it in plain sight, where everyone is, publicly. And this is going to set off fire in them that's going to burn forever and ever. And they themselves will give the full evidence why the Lord Jesus has to, to divorce them from the human race and throw them in the lake of fire. So it will be the reprobates that will rage and, be, and have uncontrollable anger when Jesus returns. It will not be the Most High, nor the saints, nor the holy angels. It will be the demons and those unsaved people that will have that remained unsaved, that will be filled with rage and will need to be deported to the lake of fire. Well, and the lake of fire will be in the presence of the Lamb and the Holy Angel. So our traditional understanding of the lake of fire is incorrect. But that being said, you all remember, the Lord Jesus is Lord of the saved and the unsaved. So he's both Lord of heaven and earth and he's Lord of hell. Not Lucifer, Jesus is Lord of hell. That being said, you all, be blessed.